Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Assistant Director General Makatangay of the Economic Research and Training Department of the Securities and Exchange Commission. In this webinar, let me walk you through the initial processes one has to go through to become a licensed capital market professional. The capital market is one of the components of a financial system. The financial system is composed of institutions that facilitate the exchange of funds among people with excess funds such as lenders, savers, and investors, and people in need of cash like borrowers and issuers. In the capital market, businesses can raise capital by selling securities such as stocks, bonds, corporate papers, as well as treasury bills to people and institutions looking for investments. They can use this capital to expand their businesses and increase employment opportunities. Nagsisilbi rin ang capital market bilang daan para magbigay o makapagpautang ang isang individual sa ating gobyerno para sa mas maraming proyekto at programa na maaari nitong ilunsad. The investors, meanwhile, may receive additional income from dividends and interests or from trading the securities at higher prices. They can use their additional income for payment of their houses, cars, or other personal expenses. The capital market is composed of different institutions like the Philippine Stock Exchange and the Philippine Dealing and Exchange. The Philippine Stock Exchange, or the PSE, is the only stock exchange in the Philippines. It is one of the oldest stock exchanges in Asia, having been in continuous operation since the establishment of the Manila Stock Exchange in 1927. This is where your trade stocks or equities. The Philippine Dealing and Exchange Corporation, or PDEX, meanwhile was incorporated in 2003 to provide trading infrastructure for the fixed income market. This is where you trade fixed income securities such as bonds issued by corporations and the government alike. The Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, is the regulator of the Philippine capital market. Aside from the capital market, we have the banking and insurance sectors. In banking, we deposit our savings with the banks, which then lends a part of our deposits to entrepreneurs as capital to start or expand their businesses. In insurance, policyholders pay premiums either on a monthly, quarterly, or yearly basis. Insurance companies pool and invest the premium payments. Benefits and compensation for losses are then paid to the policyholders or the beneficiaries out of the pooled fund. The SEC has exclusive authority to regulate our market professionals. Section 28 of the Securities Regulation Code, or the SRC, provides that no person shall engage in the business of buying or selling securities in the Philippines as a broker or dealer, or act as a salesman or an associated person of any broker or dealer unless registered as such with the Commission. No registered broker or dealer shall employ any salesman or any associated person who is not registered as such with the Commission. Kinakailangang lisensyado ang ahente o sino mang manghihikayat sa publiko na mag-invest o sumali sa negosyo ng kompanya. Kailangan ay makapasa sila sa pagsusulit na binibigay ng SEC upang matiyak na may sapat silang kaalaman at kakayahang maipaliwanag ang isang investment scheme, ang risk na kaakibat nito, at ang pagiging angkop nito sa isang investor. This is one of the many ways that the SEC undertakes to protect not only the integrity of the capital market, and the overall financial system, but also the interest of investors. Let us now discuss who these market professionals are. We have the brokers, dealers, associated persons, and salespersons. A broker is a person engaged in the business of buying and selling securities for the account of others. A dealer means any person who buys and sells securities for his or her own account in the ordinary course of business. An associated person is any person employed full-time by the broker-dealer 
whose responsibilities include internal control supervision of other employees, agents, salesmen, officers, directors, clerks, and stockholders of such broker-dealer for compliance with the SRC and its IRR. A salesman is a natural person hired to buy and sell securities on a salary or commission basis endorsed to the commission by the employing broker-dealer. Moreover, the commission also regulates the government securities eligible dealers or the GSED. These are the persons or entities engaged in buying and selling of government securities such as treasury bills, treasury notes, and treasury bonds. The Commission also oversees the operations of market participants such as the Exchange, which is an organized marketplace that brings together buyers and sellers and executes trades and securities and or commodities. An example is the Philippine Stock Exchange or the PSE and the Philippine Dealing and Exchange or PDEX. A clearing agency is an institution which acts as an intermediary in making deliveries upon payment to effect settlement and securities transactions. We have the Securities Clearing Corporation of the Philippines. Associated persons for the equities market and salespersons are required to take and pass certification examinations administered by the SEC. The SEC through its Economic Research and Training Department, Training Division, offers certification programs which intends to help and guide aspiring capital market professionals. And we will now proceed to discuss the actual processes and requirements on becoming a market professional. An aspiring market professional should pass both phase one and two of our certification examinations. Phase one of the SEC certification examination consists of six modules. Module one on fundamentals of securities, Module 2 on Economic Principles and Market Theories, Module 3 Fundamentals of Securities Regulation, Module 4 Corporate Governance, Module 5 Risk Management, and Module 6 on Anti-Money Laundering. Fundamentals of Securities is composed of 48 questions and accounts for 40% of the examination grade. Economic Principles and Market Theories consists of 35%, with 42 questions. Fundamentals of Securities Regulation consists of 10% with 12 questions. Corporate Governance, 5% with 6 questions. Risk Management, same, 5% with 6 questions. And Anti-Money Laundering, still 5% with 6 questions as well. Overall, the Phase 1 exam consists of 120 questions. And to qualify for Phase 1 exam, the examiner should get at least 78 correct answers, equivalent to a 65% passing mark. Phase two, in phase two exam, you may now identify what type of capital market professional you want to specialize. Module 7A is for certification program for certified investment solicitors, or we call the mutual fund salesman. Module 7B for certification program for equity security salesmen or stockbrokers. Module 7C for certification program for fixed income market salesmen. Module 7D for certification program for compliance officers or associated persons of the equities market. And Module 7E for certification program for proprietary and non-proprietary securities. However, this examination is currently on hold and undergoing review by the Commission. Overall, the Phase two exam consists of 50 questions, and one must get at least 38 correct answers for a passing rate of 75%. To help and guide you achieve this goal, the SEC designed a program con to conduct certification seminars or webinars to prepare you in taking the exam. For Phase one, the seminar or webinar is not mandatory and yet will be helpful for those taking the phase one examination. But the seminars or webinars for certification program for associated person or compliance officers and for equity security salesmen or stockbrokers are compulsory for those aspiring to be an associated person or salesman of a broker dealer. You have to attend these seminars or webinars 
before you could take the phase two examination. Here are the steps for registration. To apply for the SEC certification examination, kindly proceed to the SEC's official website. It's www.sec.gov.ph. You have to search the capital market professional icon and choose among the services you want to avail. For example, you click the certification examination, it will direct you to two options, certification examinations head office and certification examinations provincial offices. To be able to reach a wider public for aspiring market professionals, the SEC conducts certification examination at the SEC headquarters and or at the SEC extension offices. On our website, you may view the schedule and available dates and requirements and also the downloadable forms you need to comply and submit. Application form for phase one. Here is the sample of an application form for phase one. And here is a sample for the application form for phase two of the examination. In both application forms, the things to bring and other reminders before, during, and after the examinations are specified. Here is the simple step-by-step -step process. Step one, proceed to the SEC official website, www.sec.gov.ph. Step two, direct the capital market professionals icon. Click the applicable services you want to avail. Is it licensing? certification seminars, certification examinations, list of passers, and CMP notice. Step three, click certification examination. Step four, submit the duly accomplished application form and a scanned copy of a valid ID to certification at sec.gov.ph. Step five, Print the payment assessment form and pay the exam fee at any of the available payment options. And step six, present your photo or scanned copy of the proof of payment and application receipt to the examination proctor on the date of the examination. Step seven, you're off to the examination. Go to your scheduled date and venue. Please note that passing the certification examinations it's just one step to becoming a capital market professional. After successfully hurdling the exams, you will still have to secure your certificate of registration from the Securities and Exchange Commission. But when you finally become licensed capital market professionals, we count on you in guiding the investing public towards sustainable, smart, and legitimate investments and in sustaining the growth of our economy.